Hey guys, so today is going to be a ColourPop haul. So I picked up a ColourPop order. Obviously this box is huge and unfortunately what's inside isn't as much. So you open it up, there is so much stuffing. That is what's in here. There's barely anything in here compared to the amount of box that there is. So that's okay. So if you guys are new, welcome to my channel. And if you guys are not new, welcome back and thanks for rejoining us. If you guys have not, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're getting the notification of when my upcoming videos are coming out. If you guys wanna see all the fun super shock shadows that I bought, just keep watching. So up first is the ColourPop pamphlet. I like this one, this one says Stay Cool from ColourPop and I like how it's got like the ice cream. All right, so if you guys were unaware, ColourPop had a new color line that came out for their Super Shock Shadows. And it is because they hit, I think, six million followers on Instagram. So they brought out six new colors that I really wanted to grab. I didn't want to grab all of them. There were two that I really wanted, three technically, but one of them was sold out already. But they also had a Super Shock Shadow sale going on. So if you bought one Super Shock Shadow, you got another one free. So up first, I'm going to skip over the Super Shock Shadows and I bought these here. This was an $18 package and it was is the All Star Matte Blur Primer and this is what it looks like. It is .88 ounces, which is pretty decent for a primer. So, but I got the two of them for $18, which is really awesome. I have actually used this and this together and they're, I don't know if it's the, them together and what I used under like for the foundation with it. They just, it made my skin look airbrushed. It was fabulous. So I used the Joe Fresh sheer tint with it. And I'm not sure if that was why it looked so good, but together they were amazing. So this comes out kind of like that. And then it's very, and then it looks at first kind of like it is creamy look, but then it mattes down really well. At first I was kind of like, oh, it's supposed to be matte and blurry, but it takes a couple of seconds to actually do it and it looks amazing on the skin. And then up next is this one here and this is the All Star Face Setting Spray. This smells amazing and I own two of two or three of their other face setting sprays and I prefer this one over the other two. The other two are from their their Amethyst line and I still will use them because I still have them, but I like the sprayer on this a lot better and I really, really enjoy this one. This makes my face look great. So for an inexpensive setting spray that is really good, I would definitely go for this one. So now for some super shock eyeshadows. So I actually bought 12 of them. Technically, I only paid for six of them, which is pretty crazy. Let's start off with their new ones. Okay, so I don't know why this one came in a bubble wrap, but sure. There are two from their new line. This one is Sixth Sense. Okay, so that is what it looks like. And that is the swatch. I am so so super excited to actually use this one. That is beautiful. And this is a metallic. So this one here is called Six in the City. And look how beautiful this one is. This is also a metallic. So that is the color there. It's very coppery and not exactly, it's like I got a pink copper color to it. I thought it was a bit pinkier, so that's okay, but that's super pretty too. I'm gonna absolutely love that color. Okay, so I'm going to go through, I guess, the matte ones next. I picked up quite a few matte ones this, this time. I, I don't really own very many matte eyeshadows from the Super Shock collection, so I wanted to give them a go. And this one here is called Seeker. So that's what that one looks like. And look at how beautiful that color is. That is gorgeous. This one is called Central Perk. And this is obviously a dark color as well. Those two are very close in color, but this one's a bit different. So these are gonna look super cute, I think, in like an outer corner crease looking one. So you can tell this one's a little bit more of a bready color. This is more of a bricky color. So then I got this one here, and this is called Elixir. 
And these are all matte ones, so this one is a nice color like that one. I got that one because I figured it'd be a nice crease color in between the dark ones. I wanted to do like a full look using Super Shock eyeshadows. I think this is in Tang, T-A-N-G. This is a very nice purpley brown color. That is it right there. That looks super cute with some glitter. And then for the last matte one, this is called Mittens. So I'm excited that I got a few really nice dark matte colors. So and then there's that one. That one's a little bit more browny than these ones, so that is exciting. So I have one satin one that I picked up, and I have quite a few satin ones already. This is called Waddles, and I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones I think that Kathleen Lights talks about every once in a while. This is a super satin one, so that's the color there. Look at that beautiful shine. It's so creamy and so soft. I'm so excited to try this one. This will be a super cute eyeshadow for like doing transitions. So the next one is an ultra metallic color. And this is what it looks like. This is in the name, this one's Weenie, which I'm super excited. Look at this color. Like, isn't that gorgeous? I am so Super excited to use this. This will look really good all over the eyelid or underneath the eyelid. So the last three are ultra glitters and they, the difference between the ultra glitters and like the metallics and things like that are, these ones are a little bit more sheer. They are straight glitteries, which let's be honest, I absolutely love. They're great as eye toppers, like eyeshadow toppers. So this one is called Birthday Wish. And this is from their birthday, I think, their birthday one. It, they still had it, so I picked it up. So that is the difference between, like, so you can see, like, the metallic and the sheer. So it's a little bit sheer, which is beautiful. Oh, yeah, so it's number four, which is, it's their fourth birthday one, I guess. So those will look super cute on top of something to add, like, massive glitter to something. So, like, you say you do this gorgeous smoky eye, and you just want a kick of color or, like, a kick of glitter. You can just throw that on over top. This one is I... This one is called I Love This, or I Heart, technically it's I Heart This, I think it's called. There's a heart on it, so it's I Heart This one. I think it's, okay, so I'm running out of arm space, so let's just do this right here. So this is what that one looks like. They look really similar, so this one and this one look quite similar on the swatches, is probably the way it is. This one's a little bit more gray, and this one's a little bit more brownie, so that's why I picked them up. And then for the last one, it's called, I think it's called Twitter Padded. This is the color. I was ecstatic when I saw the swatches for this one. I have a lot of pink eyeshadows and I love them. So look at how gorgeous that looks. I am so excited to put that over top of a nice rose gold color. So, so those are all the swatches. So that was everything in this color pop haul. If you guys want to see a video of me doing like a look with my color pop super shock eyeshadows, leave me a comment in the comments below and I can start making a video for that. Well, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.